we look at the Knicks and their win total uh, this year, it's uh, Vegas has them at 41 and a half wins right at that 500 uh, mark. What are a couple keys in your mind uh, to being above 500 team in the Eastern Conference this season? And I would say I think they will be above 500. And, and the main thing is that Tibbs, you know, he works his team hard during the regular season. Like wh when you see in the playoffs and Atlanta, even though they played really well under Nate McMillan, but they, you could view them as an example of this. Um, but there are teams that they play well in the regular season, but they kick it into a higher gear in the playoffs. Tom Thibodeau, his teams don't go to a higher gear because he kind of has them playing at playoff level intensity throughout the regular season. Pat Riley used to do the same thing. And if you look at his teams in Miami, they they a lot of times got beat by lower seeds because they were playing at playoff level intensity in the regular season, so winning a lot of games. But then when they got to the playoffs, they didn't have another level to go to. So I think the Knicks will kind of be in that vein where they'll win a good number of games. I'm not talking 50 or anything like that, but I think they'll win a good number of games. And then in the playoffs, like I said, I think it'll be tough for them to get out of the first round. But really, I want to see some more growth as a leader and as a player from Randall. He was great last year in the regular season, but again, his performance in the playoffs, hopefully he learns from that and be able to come out and play better. I think Derrick Rose, who was a revel, maybe revelations too strong because we obviously know his history and he did have a nice season last year, but he, he looked darn near like the old D Rose in the playoffs. And so if he can stay at that level or close to it, that would be big for the Knicks. I like RJ, obviously his game has some limitations, but I like what he's about. So you want to see him take another step and if some of your young players, I mean, Fournier, you know, fitting these guys in. Because like I said, they got a lot of depth. And, but sometimes when you have a lot of guys at the same level, that's tough. And so they're going to have to make sure that they keep egos aside and that they're really all about winning and not, not getting too much into, you know, the individual stuff. Because they do have good depth and a lot of guys that deserve minutes. And a lot of guys on the same level not as much differentiation between a lot of their players as far as talent level.